Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can get your character or AI character to strafe move. This is where your character will face the same direction while moving instead of changing their entire body rotation. Implementing strafing works exactly the same for both AI and player characters, so I'm gonna be demonstrating it on a character. For anyone following on from my AI tutorials, just do exactly what I'm doing but do it for your AI character, not your third person character. But before we get started with that, I want to really quickly thank my Patreons for supporting me. You guys are the best, thank you so much. So, to kick things off, you'll need four animations. Strafe left, strafe right, move forwards, and move backwards. If you don't want to make those yourself, I've got two sets of animations you can download. Strafing with a sword and shield, or a gun. I'll leave a link in the description for the download. Once you've downloaded those, just import them into your project, making sure your pre-existing mannequin skeleton is selected on import. Now, we're gonna make a blend space to cycle through these animations. So, in your content browser, right click, under animation, blend space. Call this either AI blend or character blend. If you're new to blend spaces, I'd suggest watching my blend space tutorial first, but it's not essential, I'll leave a link in the description. So, unlike the default mannequin blend space, this blend space is 2D, meaning we can blend through animations using two axes. Okay, let's give these axes some properties. Under horizontal axis, put direction for the name, minus 180 for the minimum value, and 180 for the maximum value. We use 180 and minus 180 because this gives our character a full 360 degrees of rotation then give it an interpolation time of 0.2. Interpolation time is how long the animations will take to blend to the next. Okay, under vertical axis, put speed as the name, zero for minimum, and 270 for maximum. We use 270 as it's roughly half our character's movement speed. Then put 0.2 for interpolation time. Now, let's give our blend space some animations. In the bottom right, you'll see an asset browser where we can drag and drop animations into our blend space. So pause the video now and drag in the animations seen in the image into your blend space. Okay, cool. So now, if we increase our speed, our character will begin moving. And depending what our direction is, our character will change the direction he strafes in. So depending on our speed and direction values, a different blend of animation will be outputted. You can test this out by moving the green diamond around your blend space. You'll notice that when you move it around, everything looks smooth. But if you move it really fast across the direction axis, the character kind of spazzes out. And this wouldn't be a problem if the character direction was always changed really slowly. But imagine your player goes from moving right to moving left the direction value would jump from 90 to negative 90 in a split second. This causes the character to transition from move right to forward to left incredibly fast, resulting in a glitchy look. So it would be ideal if we could skip the strafe forward and jump straight from strafe right to left instantly. And it just so happens Unreal has a setting for this. So scroll down in the details down to sample interpolation and set target weight interpolation to one. Now, if you move your green diamond around really fast, you can see the glitchiness has gone away. Now, into the animation blueprint. Remember, if you're doing this for the AI, open the AI animation blueprint. Open up the anim graph, then go into the state. Double click to open up your idle slash run state. Let's delete what we've got here and pull in our new blend space and connect this up. Now we just need to give our blend space two inputs of speed and direction. So let's jump into our event graph. With the default third person template, we already have blueprints to give us a speed variable. If you're missing this, simply copy these nodes seen on screen now. To get direction, let's drag off our pawn owner and get actor rotation. Then off this, let's bring in a calculate direction node. Plug the velocity from the speed into this velocity. Then pull off our calculate direction and promote to variable. Call this direction. Then connect this up coming off our speed. 
Cool, we now have a variable for direction. Now, back into the anim graph, into our state, then into our run state, we can now control drag in our speed and direction variables and plug these in. For people doing this for their third person characters, we have one more setting to change. So open up your character blueprint, click on self in the top left, then under pawn, select use controller rotation your. This setting will make your character rotate with your camera. And that's it guys, don't be scared to play around with the blend space and animation blueprint settings to try and achieve smoother animation transitions. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments section and as always guys, thank you so much for watching, see you next time.